Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show some of the ways you can get the most out of Unity when you're using visual scripting. I'm currently working on my game, but the last video that I did on visual scripting was comparing the performance of visual scripting and C Sharp and ECS using random flying bees. And the results show that visual scripting is significantly slower than C Sharp. So does that mean that you can't use visual scripting for your games? And no, that's not what it means, but certain things that you might want to add to your games will make it a little bit more challenging to add that with visual scripting. But what are those things and is there a way to still add them in your game? So for that, let's take a look at the example that I created for the bees and look at the script that I used for here. In here we can notice that I'm using on start to do initial configuration of the bee. Afterwards I have an on update event that runs all of this logic. So this is a good way to find those objects that might cause problems in your game and those game objects that use on update and you have a lot of those game objects in your scene. So some ways to improve it is by looking if you actually can replace this on update event to an update that is triggered only when you need it. So for instance, in your game, if you're listening for a keyboard input, instead of using an update event and checking for those keyboard input, in visual scripting, it would be more efficient if you actually use on keyboard input and do what you're trying to do based on this specific input. And the reason why this is more efficient is because the check for the input is done on the C sharp side and that significantly improves the performance. Similar way you can listen for other events in your game and trigger those events when they're needed. Now for this example, my B actually needs to move every frame. So I have to actually use the on update event here. Now I could have achieved the same effect of moving the B by using a rigid body and setting the velocity. That would have been more efficient if the physics engine is the one that is gonna be moving the B, but I would still need to check when I'm gonna be reaching the point to set the next point. So that would have been an improvement in this case. And there are those improvements that you can do for a specific case of what you're trying to achieve. But if you know that a specific part of the code, like this movement is gonna be running in your game a lot, you might need to consider to actually writing this specific functionality in C Sharp. And then you can control in visual scripting when you want to start executing it or stop executing it. Well, let me show you the example for this. So for my B, I went and created this script called run this. And in here, I've created a method that's called move B. So for the inputs, I specify the fields that I want to actually pass to this game object, which is a transform speed, fly radius and start point, exactly the fields that I had in the visual scripting as well. And then I have another field that I added here, which is run. And this field is a Boolean, so I can set it to true when I want to run it. And also have another method, stop bees, that sets the run to false if I want to stop the B movement. And in the update method, all it does is checks for the state of the run. If I need to run it, it uses the same exact logic that I used to move the B in the visual scripting. Now the way that it looks on the visual scripting, so let's go here, right here, here's the run this move B script. And now what I do is on start, I set the start position, which is the configuration of this game object. And then I trigger the move B, passing all of the information that I need to start the B moving. So passing the speed, fly radius, and the start point. And after that, the B starts moving. So let's run it and see if there is an improvement. I'm gonna build and run it. Uh, so I'm gonna run visual scripting first at 500 Bs. We can see that we are at 18, 16 frames per second. So let's try that new version of it that uses the C Sharp script. Let's go to 500 and at 500, we're still at 60 FPS. Go to 1000, still at 60 FPS. 
and going to 5000 we are at 30 plus fps that is about 20 times more bees that we can run with using the c sharp script combined with visual scripting than just running visual scripting alone and if we compare it with c sharp c sharp runs a little bit faster and it's probably due to the fact that there is some visual scripting overhead on each of those bees that still have a visual script attached to it so if you know that your game is going to have something that needs to be run on update and is going to be run on a lot of objects then you should definitely consider writing that script in c sharp and create an interface that you can use visual scripting to interact with it hopefully you found this video helpful and probably in the next video i'll showcase the progress that, that i'm making on the game that i'm working on